um, a confirmed serial kicker. And I'm just going to show you real quick about donkey safety. You can see her head is in the fence. This isn't for safety. This is just what Brownie likes. So whatever Brownie likes, Brownie does. And so we're going to do a little donkey safety here. You can see I've got my back to her so that I'm going to prepare her for me picking up her foot. I've got my back to her. My face is out of the way. So if she decides to kick forward, I'm pretty safe. And if she kicks back, I'm okay. There's a good chance they'd like to do, um, donkeys are able to do a good roundhouse kick. So if she does hit me, it's going to be in a, a safer area than my face or my arm. So I'm preparing her. I'm kneeling down, keeping my face away, and then I'm squeezing. So if she kicks, she's going straight out. Again, donkeys have the bad reputation because they're able to see all four feet at one time, and they're excellent kickers because of that. You want to observe safety, of course, with any animal work, working with, because all horses and donkeys have legs, and they can all kick. Brownie can be kind of unpredictable, so we're just being extra cautious. We've also given her a bucket of corn, which is an excellent distraction for the farrier. Most of you know I prefer to do my wrath to get a good balanced foot, but with donkeys, sometimes speed is a better thing. We're not doing any therapeutic work. So we've balanced the heel to the toe, so the height of the heel, we're going straight down to the toe. We're beveling the edge. You can see that her foot naturally, as with any donkey, is an oval shape versus a rounder foot like a horse would have. So now we're going to prepare to go and do the front of the foot, keeping well away from her. So if she were to kick, she would just pull right out of my hand. Easy girl. Easy. Easy. Good girl. She's staying well out of the kick zone. My body is well away from her. Easy. Bevel the edge of her foot, trim the bottom. She has a beautiful foot and we stayed safe.